hard to do this, so excuse all of the crazy mistakes, but I found that doing it with a voiceover was a little difficult. So if you have your iPad and you've been seeing videos and you wanna learn how to draw, you wanna use the program Procreate, maybe you want to create stickers, but have no clue how, well, I'm here to help you. So the first thing you wanna do is head over to the App Store and look how wonderful I already have that typed up and you wanna download Procreate, which I already have downloaded. Here's the little icon and I'm just gonna go ahead and tap open. And that's something I was working on. So, basics. I have way too many things here, so ignore them. But you wanna tap on this plus button. The plus button is gonna give you a new canvas. Each of these is considered a canvas. You create the canvas size that you want. So if you wanna print a picture or something like that, the canvas is virtual, but it's gonna to print to the size that you put in here. So right now, let's just work with the screen size and that's a default that's on here. So tap screen size. You can use two fingers to move it in and out like that. So what do you do now? The first thing is this right here is where all of your brushes are. These are considered brushes. Um, I've added a bunch of mine and I'll be teaching you along the way of how to add more brushes. But for now, go to calligraphy and pick the monoline brush. And you can just tap on the screen to make that go away. This little circle right here is where all of your colors are gonna be, all of your color palettes. Again, I've added a bunch of mine, but there are quite a few that come standard with the iPad. So I'm gonna just choose this one called Spring Days, and you tap on the three little dots, and you set that as default. You go to the little top, little line, and you just hold it down and you can scroll it over. So now this one palette is right in front of you and you don't have to keep tapping. So go back to the brush and again, you've created or you started in monoline. You can tap on the screen and then pick whatever color you want. Sometimes the iPad is finicky and when you tap on it, it doesn't show. So if you wanna use this color, make sure it's showing right here. So this right here controls your brush size. And just scribble on the screen. Just play around, get familiar with the way it looks and feels. And that's how that works. If you wanted it to color a little bit more see-through, this right here controls the opacity. So let's just go down to about right there and we'll tap on this color. And you can see how it shows through the other colors because it's not as dark as it might be if I did this. That's 100%. Same color, different opacity. So these are just some things that I would suggest in the beginning to play around with for yourself. Now let's say you did this line, you didn't like it, take two fingers, tap once. Keep tapping until all of the ones that you don't like go away. But let's say you accidentally did that. Take three fingers, tap it, it comes back and you can do that for all of them. So that's how you do it. Now, what if you wanna draw something on this masterpiece, <laughs> but you don't wanna mess it up? What if you aren't sure about the design? This right here is where your layers live. Now, this is the background color. 
It's always going to be there, but you can change it if you tap it. You can change it to any color you want. So I'll just leave it there. Go back to layers. So this is where we were originally drawing and you can double check by turning that off and back on. It's gonna be the one that's highlighted in blue. But let's add another one. Now before I go any further, here's what I wanna show you. Layers are like layers of paper, virtually. This is layer one. And it has our scribbles. Now, this is layer two with nothing on it. No matter what I do to this layer, it's not going to affect that layer. So if I don't like what I did here, I can get rid of it. So that's basically the concept of layers. Tap here, go back to the layer. Let's go to this yellow. Make sure we've got it there. And see, I just did what I told you not to do. I didn't check right here. This is how we're going to learn along the way. So now I've done it. So if you don't like that, tap on this, the little eraser, and you can just erase part of it and nothing below on this layer is gone. And I don't know who that is. So we can do that for as many times as we want. Make sure you're in the drawing. Make sure you've got the right color. See, I'm making a lot of mistakes. And there we go. You didn't like that layer? Or let's say you didn't like the first layer. Turn it off. You can see what you've got going on. Turn it back on. Now, if you don't like this layer, if you want to start completely over, slide it to the left. You've got three choices. Lock, you can't do anything to it. You can't delete it, it'll tell you. You can't erase it. Unlock it. Duplicate or delete. Those are the basics. So again, the brushes. Don't be afraid to play around with anything that's already there. I will teach you how to make more brushes along the way. Play around with the layers and the erase. Now again, this changes the size of the eraser and you can even change the opacity of the eraser and it won't erase all of it. And that wasn't on there. You can see it leaves a little behind because I changed the opacity. And so that almost gives you a shading effect. So those are the basics of just how to get started drawing on the iPad. Obviously, there's so much more to learn. We've not talked about these, and I will do that in my next video. And we have not talked about this. If you wanna go back and see, there, there are some standards that come with it just, but if you wanna see if you've decided to make a bunch of different things, this will get you back to there. I hope that was informative on how to at least get started, how to at least start playing around with what you have. Um, I encourage you to learn how to use the different brushes. Don't be afraid. Just never hit delete. Um, it's, it's a lot of fun. There's so much to learn on Procreate. We have so much to learn together. Play with the colors. That's something I made. If you don't like the background, tap on that, change it. Now you can see it a little bit better. But just to have a good time, learn how to, that's an interesting brush that I have. 
I have a lot of brushes that I've gotten. I've made a bunch and I've bought a bunch. Um, again, you know, if you don't like that, what you've done, delete, delete. And if you want to start from scratch, clean canvas. Then you just start over. So I hope that you did learn something. If you have some questions on what I've taught you, please leave them in the comments. I plan to cover everything that I know about Procreate. I plan to cover um, all kinds of tips and tricks. There are so many things that I've learned how to do um, faster, easier, and maybe a little lazy. But for the most part, it's just a, a learning curve. And don't be afraid to learn. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. If you don't like what you've done in the beginning, I encourage you not to delete everything and just create a new canvas because you'll want to look back and see how much you've improved. And I promise you, you will improve. I will show you some things as we get further along of where I started and where I am now. I am by no means a master, but I watch lots of videos. I have learned a lot on TikTok and um, Pinterest, and I encourage you to do that as well. So just search out, keep learning, and I will be back with another video. Thank you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I will be making lots more content.